Waking up on the Atlantic coast of Georgia is something of another world. In the marshes, it never really goes quiet, and the same sounds I fell asleep to last night greet me with open arms as I open my eyes for the day. Between the soft chirping of crickets, the gentle rustling of tall grass, and the soothing whistling of wind, this place sounds like an ongoing symphony of nature's best instruments. The air carries this delicate fragrance, something I would describe as a mingling of salt water and earth, and there's this rhythmic grace as the tides ebb and flow throughout the day. It's currently six o'clock and the sun is yet to rise this morning, but the marsh already feels so alive. And I feel like I'm drawing in some of that energy because I also feel very alive and present. And I believe the best way to carry on this morning energy is to drive over to Tybee Island for a sunrise swim in the ocean. And then we'll just take the day from there. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Summers in the South bring back so many memories for me. And this morning, the air smells like early August. Driving to school with the windows down, feeling the light humidity on my skin, hearing the cicadas roar in the trees. It smells like childhood like easy days, like seeing your classmates after a long summer break away. But today, we're not driving to school, we're driving to the beach, and we're here to experience summer in a completely different light. Just last week, we were over in Florida enjoying the beaches on the Gulf, and it's crazy how you can just hop over one state and the beach looks completely different. We're standing on really fine tan sand, and also the water is just this beautiful green color, very different from the vibes that we were getting over on the Gulf, but it is still so beautiful, but beautiful in a different way. And I think it's just really cool to kind of witness um, a different aspect of the beach. One that isn't just all palm trees, turquoise blue waters, and white sand. It feels just a little bit more earthy here, especially with the marshes surrounding um, the entire coast. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty, with the wind blowing in your hair. I think there's something so special about the first light of day, specifically on East Coast beaches. Just because starting the day with the water, it just feels right. Like it feels like where the sun should be when you start the day. And I just love it. It's so refreshing in the mornings. Oh, there's a dolphin. Claire, there's a dolphin. So if you just kind of focus on the water over there, you can kind of see the dolphins just peeking their little fins up. They're right over there. It's a huge pond. We are dreamers of the my favorite part of the day, making my morning cup of joe. If you've been following our channel for quite a while now, 
You will remember the days when Claire and I lived in a van. We were on a super tight budget, surviving on just $1,000 a month, and that meant sacrificing the luxury of fancy coffee. So I sadly resorted to cold, instant coffee every single day. And it was honestly terrible, but it got me through. But oh, how things have changed. Now I've treated myself to an upgrade that has revolutionized my coffee experience. Let me introduce you to a coffee unlike any other, Right here, these are packets of coffee in tea bags. This is the medium roast as well as the extra dark roast. And it's basically like how you steep tea. But instead of tea, you get high quality coffee. It's really perfect for backpackers, travelers, or people looking to simplify their coffee setup. The company behind this incredible invention is called Wildland Coffee, and they're a fellow small business that I've personally connected with. I had the pleasure of speaking with Zach, the owner of Wildland Coffee, and recently, Zach has taken complete control of the manufacturing process. So if you're interested in taking home this delicious on-the-go coffee, use code CHADANDCLAIR10 for 10% off your order. And by doing so, you'll not only be supporting Zach and his business, but you'll also be supporting Claire and I and this channel. So a huge thank you to Wildland Coffee for supporting what we do, and cheers to never drinking cold instant coffee ever again. Now that Chad's got his morning cup of coffee, we can get started on making breakfast because we are super, super hungry. And our Airbnb host actually left us two complimentary muffins, so we'll be having that in addition to some scrambled eggs. And I think I'm gonna toss together a garden salad um, with some oregano, sounds really good and refreshing. And then also uh, see if we've got some prosciutto and just make something really light and easy um, because we do have some exciting dinner plans. So let's get cooking. This morning when we were at the beach, I could just feel the heat rising more and more as the day progressed. And we knew that we'd probably be spending the afternoons indoors, just, you know, cooling down, enjoying a moment of silence. And I've been so excited to just pull up a chair and sit next to this window that we have here in our Airbnb. Through it, you can see these trees that are just dripping in Spanish moss and they're absolutely gorgeous. And through the window, you can also hear the cicadas just chirping and singing the day away. So we're we're just gonna read and journal and just enjoy the coolness of our accommodation before heading off to dinner. dinner this evening we are in for a treat we will actually be driving over to Tybee Island once again and we're going to one of the most iconic restaurants on the island it's called the Crab Shack it has over 12,000 reviews on Google Maps and apparently you can get a pretty decent low country boil over there so we're gonna get our hands dirty this evening and really feast up I'm so excited <laughs>
we've sat down, I've got myself a glass of my favorite drink, a sweet tea, and I must say, they do it really well here, it is very sweet. Um, but this is actually our second time to the Crab Shack, and coming back, it is just like I remember, but oh man, I just love this place. It is right on the water, it has a very cohesive theme going on with all of the fishing supplies, the bamboo, the trees that overhang, and it's just... I feel like I'm at someone's like backyard cabin house kind of, you know, shack. Yeah, I'm in someone's shack basically. We got a table outside and something I want to know is the table setup. So we have our nice wooden table and in the middle they have a hole cut <laughs> into the table so that if you have any like crab bits or shells, whatever, you just toss it straight in the trash, no problem, it's out of your sight and you just keep on feasting. And I just think that's so cool. It's like they've intended for you to be able to just dine and not worry about all the, all the garbage that will pile up in the end. <laughs> all right, so we just got served our captain sampler plate for one person because we knew the sizes would be tremendous. And I mean, I don't even understand how one person would finish all of this. I feel like four people could split it and be pretty full. And let's talk about the spread. We've got some melted butter in the middle. We've got some mussels some corn on the cob, some snow crab legs, some boiled potatoes, sausage, shrimp, crawfish. And also, I want to note that here they do not fry any of their food. They actually only bake, steam, and boil their seafood, which I think seafood tastes the best that way. So I think we are in for the most wonderful treat. I'm gonna get some sauces out. And about 20 to 30 minutes later, we have pretty much finished our entire platter. And yeah, it was delicious. Yeah, I think we did a pretty good job. And honestly, we said maybe 20 sentences to each other. And then we were just focused on eating what was in front of us. I think anytime you have to work for the food you're about to eat, it's just so much more satisfying and so much more delicious. And this was just a fantastic experience all together. I feel like everyone should, you know, experience a low country boil at some point in their life. And yeah. I really enjoyed it. My hands are just covered in spices and oil. Ooh, I'm ready to wash them. I got us a scoop of ice cream. What'd you get? Yeah, so I got coconut. It's called coconut castaway. I don't know what the castaway part is, but it looks like they're pieces of ooh, of cake and pecans and dark chocolate. It's got everything in there. Definitely dripping. Yeah. <laughs> Photo. <laughs> you have ice cream in your hair. <laughs> To have the feeling of an ice cream cone melting all over your hand as you eat it, it feels like... Summer. Yeah, it feels like summer, summer. in the south. <laughs> yeah, for real. I've already had like most of it because Claire can't keep up with me. I can't keep up with the heat and yeah. the melting of the ice cream. Plus she's extra sensitive to cold stuff. <laughs> As I've gotten older, I've started to realize how much there is to appreciate and to experience in just one day. And that really is the beauty of the everyday, isn't it? It comes and goes just like how the sun will always rise in the east and set in the west. And there truly is so much joy to be found in the mundane. Tybee Island in the peak of summer is swimming with dolphins as the sun rises above the horizon. It's licking an ice cream cone in the car with all the windows down and sipping on sweaty glasses of sweet tea while feasting on low country boil. It's diving into the ocean as the sky changes from bright orange to soft pink to bruised purple. It's taking a back seat in life and knowing that everything will be okay, all in good time.
waves are really hitting us at all. No. It's like we're just wading in this massive bathtub and the temperature of the water is pretty similar yeah. to bath water as well. It's really warm. Yeah. It's nice. this afternoon I saw that there would be rain on the forecast and I actually got pretty excited because when it rains clouds come with it and anytime there are clouds on the beach the sky is just so so beautiful and right now it does just look like this masterpiece it's just strokes of yellow and pink and orange dappled across this blue canvas and I just feel so much gratitude for being here right now and to be engulfed in the Atlantic Ocean while looking up at this beautiful, beautiful painting. So something I've gotten really used to doing is just not caring too much about what's going on <laughs> underneath the water because like right now I can't see probably a foot um, under the water surface. And after you know swimming in like the Nile River, the Amazon River, all sorts of crazy places, I've just decided to embrace the open waters for what it is and if a fish comes up and smacks me then that's that's just what happens it's, it's the price you have to pay for enjoying the outdoors and i've definitely been hit by a couple fish tonight and it just reminds me you know we're not alone out here and the nature and the ocean is wild and honestly just such a magical place yeah we're literally swimming with millions of other friends <laughs> Isn't that weird to think about? Yeah.